Okay, welcome back uh, to uh, the introduction to Capella training course. Uh, the next section we're going to talk about is uh, operational analysis with the Capella model. Now in this section, first we have to talk about uh, what the problem is. So I'm going to introduce you to the problem that um, is basically how it, where it came from and how we got to it. Uh, so I'm going to give you some uh, little side trip here to basically discuss uh, some background of where it came from. So uh, originally the idea came from working with a local community organization that was dedicated to restoring a lake. Uh, a lake that was very popular with myself and my family uh, was announced that it was going to be closing. Uh, and because of that, it was going to be is going to be drained basically for to be rebuilt. Um, the problem was pretty dramatic uh, in the fact that it drained this beautiful lake, and it happened partly and because uh, of regulations. Uh, but the, the main thing was I wanted to ins ensure that they returned. So started working with the local organizations and communities to see if we could actually add some trails to these lakes. So in this particular case, we looked at, uh, I started looking at the idea of having a trail and, and during the process of looking at the trail, started hiking around the lake. And one of the things I noticed is as, as I was hiking, it's a fairly long, long hike to go around this entire property. And by the time I got to essentially this location here, I noticed uh, on the upper end of the lake that I noticed that my phone was dead and I was like wow what a what an annoying thing is that you know here I'd like to be able to take some more pictures and I was able to squeeze out one uh, in in the view and you can just see how stunning it was I was like wow wouldn't it be great if you had a way to basically charge your phone when you're out into this environment and that's a really kind of the idea of where uh, this concept of trail power came from. I said, wouldn't it be great if I had a way that I could what, I, I could design something that could be used to charge up my phone? Something very simple that could charge it out on the trail. And that's the idea where it came from. And I actually uh, implemented a Kickstarter with it. And I'm going to use this as kind of an example of operational analysis. Uh, what I basically want to do is I want to capture the operational an uh, you know, analysis of what the, essentially the user would do. So operational analysis you know, helps you understand the problem you wish to solve by modeling the problem. Uh, you will see how an operational capability diagram basically helps depict the capabilities that the user expects. And you'll become familiar with the, the Capella notation of actors and entities um, from this uh, operational capability diagram. Now, operational capabilities has another diagram that's part of the operational analysis is called the operational activity blank diagram uh, the op operational activity blank diagram helps you show how you can deliver the capabilities um, and so I'll show you that type of diagram and show how you deliver the expectations of the actors and entities through that and, and I'm going to show you this with an actual tool to supplement the, the slides that you're seeing here so in this first one I'm going to do is talk about this uh, operational capabilities diagram. So I'm going to switch over and basically show you what that looks like with a demonstration. So I'm going to go into Capella and here's the model. It's been loaded up into the product and this is a model that you'll be able to look at and, observe and uh, load up in later sessions. We'll talk about how to basically make that happen and how you can load that model up and how you can get access to that model. So first of all, we have the operational analysis, and you can see the tool is laid out by the different phases of the process. Uh, so I'm going to basically now open up the operational analysis diagram um, for the operational capabilities. So I'm going to bring that up into view. And here you can see the operational capabilities that this product needs to do. I, I have depicted here the user as an entity. I have uh, a USB device that I want to charge. Uh, I actually have a charger itself, so I actually have the product itself being depicted here. And I want the capability, first of all, to provide 24-hour visibility. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is I'd like to be able to have the, the product be visible at night uh, when some, somebody might be hiking and you know they run out of phone light on their phone. You know, Everybody uses their phones as a flashlight. Well, what happens if you run out of uh, power? And if I pr provide this 24-hour visibility, you could be able to see this uh, device out in the woods. Next, I want to be able to connect the USB device with a cable. Uh, I want to be able to disconnect the USB device with a cable. I want to charge the USB device. And then one aspect I thought of when I was developing it is it wouldn't be nice if I'm the developer to have some way that I could monitor the operation remotely so to make sure that this thing is working. 
Now, in the notation here, you can see we have this idea of here's a, a, an object. And I'm going to show that object over in this view here. Shows This is a, a view that shows the object. And, and basically, the object that's here is placed on this particular diagram. The, the object could actually be placed on many different diagrams that you want. If you wanted to just have one diagram per each capability, you could do that very easily. Uh, the next thing I want to show is the operational activity. Now, these are capabilities. Uh, so now I want to basically show that. So let me go back to the my slides. And with operational activities, the goal is really, the activity diagram is actually to represent the processes that the capabilities are implemented by. So I now have a process called an operational process that is showed by a collection of activities. So in case here, the provide 24-hour visibility is provided by these two activities called illuminate at night and locate the charger. You can see here also I have the user, the USB, the charger, and the developer are depicted in this diagram. So I'm going to jump over to, back to the, the tool and I'll show you again in the tool. Now going back and looking at the tool, I, I'll go back to the operational analysis view and I'll see that there's an operational architecture blank diagram. So I'm going to basically open up that and it is used for depicting operational activities. So here you'll see uh, in this diagram, and I can make it even a little bigger. There's lots of nice things about the tool, and you'll learn more about these later. But I made it larger there, and I sh show that I have this provide 24-hour visibility is essentially delivering the capability that we saw in the previous. Now, I can go and show that capability diagram, and you'll see that I have kind of a one-to-one -one mapping of that. It, it can be, however, um, many-to-one mapping. So so here I have provide 24-hour visibility and you'll see here I have provide 24-hour visibility, connect USB cable, I have connect USB device, so very similar names, and, and I actually have made relationships between the two. So I can actually look at the capability here and I'll say that, oh, I have an involved operational process called provide 24-hour visibility. So there's actually a relationship between the two. And if I sit on the capability, there's something called a semantic browser. If I sit on that capability, I can show that I have a connection. So it says right over here, involved operational processes. And I can do that for all of them, basically showing how they're connected. So think of it this way, is that I needed this capability, but with the capability, I needed to basically make it happen uh, with activities that the charger is going to perform and the user is going to perform. Now, these two things, you see these two diagrams here, they're different diagrams. Again, this is the power of a modeling tool. I could change the user to, to my own name and watch what happens here. It automatically changes in the other diagram. So that's the difference between a modeling tool and uh, just a, a graphical picture tool uh, for drawing graphics, is that the things are connected. So I'm going to go back and change that back. And I can actually go and look at that in that structure that I was showing on the left-hand side. So I can go over and see there's the user. So that's all the operational entities. So, so that's basically a, your first look at what Capella can do and how it can help you. Let's go back and I'll summarize that with the slides. So in summary, the operational analysis, and you know, there's more to it than this, but this is just an introduction to Capella. Uh, basic first, but first of all, you can see the operational capability blank diagram that helps you depict the capabilities that the user expect. And then you'll see how the operational architecture blank diagram can deliver the capabilities uh, of, with the operational processes. Uh, Thank you for joining this section. Uh, look forward to the next session on system analysis. Thank you.